Hey, welcome to this part of my living room. So in this class, we're gonna do some spinal work at the wall. So you don't need any other props, just find a wall space uh, that is big enough so you can move around uh, on it a little bit. And we're gonna start directly with our backs against our wall. And you won't see my feet in the video, but my feet are not against the wall. They are a little bit in front of me so I can lean nicely and comfortably against the wall. So your knees can be a little bit bent if that's comfortable or you can straighten your legs a bit more against the wall. You will see how your legs adapt to the movement if at some point you want to move them a little bit, uh, feel free to do so. And just for now observe how you placed your back against the wall. Just having an idea of these points of contact all these parts of your spine that are touching the wall. And we're gonna change a little bit these points of contact by doing some segmental work. So you're gonna tilt your pelvis back, meaning that you will flatten your lower back against the wall and gradually start to lift your spine from the wall part by part. So feeling each vertebrae that is kind of being peeled off the wall until only your shoulder blades are touching the wall. So your whole middle back and lower back will be lifted. So that will create an arch. And from here, start again to place your middle back on the wall part by part, then your lower back, and you will continue to round your spine, to lean forward towards your knees. So maybe you observe that your knees naturally here want to be bent. So it's like you're curling into a little ball. And from here, start to come back upright, lower back against the wall, then lifting your lower back, lifting your middle back, and arriving with your shoulder blades against the wall. And let's do it two more times. So place your middle back, lower back on the wall, continue to curl into a little ball towards your legs, letting your arms, your head hang, and come back up, still rolling your spine part by part against the wall. And last time giving a nice massage to your entire spine. Good, and when your shoulder blades are against the wall, leave them there. And we're gonna continue this segmentation, but not leaning forward on our legs. So you're gonna place your bum against the wall. You're gonna have an exaggerated curve here in your lower back. And same movement here, you're gonna place your lower back against the wall lifting your back completely from the wall, just leaving your shoulder blades connected to it. And then bum against the wall, segment from bottom to top, lifting your back and continue. So you're doing like a wave, starting with your bum touching the wall, gradually each vertebrae touches the wall and lift from it, just leaving your shoulder blades on the wall and continue. Few repetitions. And you can choose again how far you want your feet to be from the wall if you need to change at any point. And we're not too worried about the cervical spine for now. Just take time to observe what your body is doing with this motion. What are your legs doing, your arms? Perfect. And let's come back with our backs against the wall in a neutral position. You're gonna walk your feet a little bit more towards the wall if they were too far away so that you can comfortably stand on your right leg, lifting your left leg from the floor, bending your left knee. And we're gonna do this little rolling curling motion we did previously. 
So flatten your lower back against the wall, gradually lift each part of your spine, just leaving your shoulder blades connected to the wall and curl into a little ball. So placing again, middle back, lower back on the wall, leaning forward towards your right leg and come back up and go at your own pace, massaging your whole spine against the wall. And that will be quite a lot of work for your right leg. So observe how that feels. really choosing the rhythm here if you want to do it faster slower good and let's do it one last time coming back up back against the wall place your left foot down and change leg so this time you're lifting your right leg from the floor bending your right knee and gradually each part of your spine will make contact with the wall as you're curling into a little ball towards your left leg and come back up. Taking time to breathe. And to choose here if you want to match your breath with the movement, either inhaling on the way up or down. See what works best. Is the sensation the same in your left leg? Is it more or less work? Good, and let's do it one last time, curling into a little ball, coming back up, right foot on the floor, back against the wall. Take a little moment to observe how your legs feel, how your back feels. Good, and from here again, you're gonna lift gradually your spine from the wall. And in any way that works for you, place the palm of your left hand against the wall and push yourself away from it and turn yourself towards the wall. And the idea here, it will be to kind of dance with the wall. So you can start to move your feet, lean a little bit towards the wall and let your left hand wander on it. Maybe you can start to go under your arm, but always keeping your left hand connected with the wall. You can lift the palm a little bit, but you, you always want the fingers to touch it. So see what comes up. You can lean a little bit further away from the wall, a little bit more towards it. Exploring spinal flexion, extension. Feel free to go a little bit lower, maybe to bend your knees, to go into a squat. Letting the hand guide the movement of your spine. So there's no right or wrong, it's just exploration. Good, and you're gonna place your right hand against the wall and free your left hand. And this time you're dancing with the wall, but with your right hand. Maybe you're exploring the same movement you uncovered. Maybe 
you come up with something new. Always keeping that connection with the hand against the wall. So trying not to lift it. Feel free to go a little bit higher up if you haven't. Coming on the ball of your feet. Maybe imagine that you are painting your wall, that your hand has paint on it, and you're trying to cover as big of a surface as you can. Perfect. And you're going to place again your left hand against the wall and continue to dance, but with both hands. So see how that impacts the movement. If you find more or less freedom, always keeping the hands connected, touching the wall. Feel free to change the rhythm, maybe to go a little faster, to add little jumps. Maybe to just stand on one leg to increase the challenge a little bit. You are totally free to really explore here. Whatever works, whatever comes to mind. Perfect. And come back facing the wall, both hands against it. And you're going to keep your arms straight and then bend your elbows so your face will get closer to the wall. And imagine that you're like a spring, so you will push yourself away from the wall and then fall against it again. And push and fall. And again, explore different parts of your wall. A little lower, a little higher. Feel free to bend your knees. And that will be a good work for the arms. <laughs> At some point, you'll see. <laughs> Your hands don't have to be on the same line. One can be above the other, in a diagonal. Try to see if you can have your fingers pointed in different directions. So not necessarily towards the ceiling, but to the right, to the left, towards the floor. And again, challenging your balance, maybe on one leg. And we're going to continue, but this time alternate hands. So you're going to, for example, fall with your right hand, push yourself away with your right hand, and then alternate left and push, right and push. Trying to really lean as close as possible towards the wall. Thank you. 
and you can stay with your chest towards the wall or maybe your back you can face the wall if you want a little bit more spinal extension see how that feels good and then slowly make your way back towards the wall with both forearms against it and walk your feet a little bit away from the wall and try to find a neutral back here so not sticking your bum out but trying to find a pelvis that is in a neutral position and you're gonna push the wall away from you and then lean towards it so it's a movement that we call scapular push-ups and for now we are just exploring what we call retraction it's when your shoulder blades are together and protraction is when your shoulder blades are further away from each other so when you're pushing the wall with your forearms so alternate between shoulder blades together and away from each other and we're going to build on top of that so doing some sort of circles so bend your knees slightly and again lean towards the wall then lift your shoulder towards your ears and push yourself away from the wall and drop your shoulders and again lean towards the wall shoulder towards the ears push yourself away from the wall shoulders down and continue at your own pace exploring these different directions not worrying too much here if other parts of your bodies are moving at the same time not necessarily isolation work although it could be good to notice if your lower back is moving if your spine is moving good you're gonna reverse direction so when you're leaning towards the wall drop your shoulders down push yourself away from the wall shoulders up and again lean towards the wall shoulders down shoulder blades away from each other shoulder towards ears lean forward and continue your circles breathing observing if you feel some work in your forearms in your shoulders good and straighten your arms again your hands are still against the wall so start to bend your elbows look up towards the ceiling and stick your bum out so your whole spine is in extension and starting from the chin so bring it towards your chest gradually round your upper back middle back lower back straighten your arms and start again to bend your elbows look up towards the ceiling gradually extend your spine stick your bum out and reverse chin towards your chest gradually round your whole spine straighten your arms and continue at your own pace bending your elbows your face is getting closer to the wall look up towards the ceiling extend your spine stick your bum out and then chin towards chest round gradually straighten your arms and do a couple more repetitions getting familiar with that waving motion maybe at first doing it slowly and then adding a little bit more speed and fluidity and let your knees bend if that feels good often it's when we're rounding our spines that the knees will bend to so see if that happens or not simply do what feels logical for you as long as you're moving your spine 
and flexion and extension, that's all good. The rest is just uh, ornaments. Perfect. And let's do one more. Diving down, coming back up. And place the top of your head against the wall. And let your arms hang. <laughs> do some wrist circles if you feel that your wrist need a little bit of attention. Maybe moving your fingers. Shaking your arms. We're gonna finish this class with a little bit of a massage for the skull. So still letting your arms, your shoulder relax and hang by your sides. You're gonna roll your head to the left, to the right. So letting your feet move, maybe one foot will lift and then the other. So going gently. And then start to explore different and gradually start to connect more areas of your skull with the wall. So maybe that will be a little bit more your forehead, maybe the sides, or on the contrary, trying to go a little bit more back. And letting the rest of your body follow the move. So maybe you will find that you're rotating with your spine on one side and the other. And choose how much pressure you want to apply here. Trying maybe again to bend your knees a little bit, to go a little lower, a little higher. If you find a spot that really feels good, just stay here. Enjoying that little moment for your skull. It's not every day that we're massaging it, so enjoy. And feel free to do that longer, if that feels fun, if that feels good. Or simply find more, maybe a more static position with your chest against the wall. Maybe turning your head on one side or the other. Letting the wall support you. Maybe revisiting some movements we did, if you want to finish with your back against the wall, with a little bit more segmentation, or just rocking from side to side. And just stay here a minute, exploring what feels good. Maybe stretching your arms. And we'll leave it here for this class. So thank you again for joining me. I hope you enjoyed these little movements at the wall. Don't hesitate to let me know how that felt for you. And I look forward to seeing you soon.